The other little secret that for those of you writing, and you know, a lot of people ask me, how, how can I make my demo sound better? And one of the things that with a lot of the guys that I work with that they do is um, they solidify the, the bass part, the orchestral bass part using synths. And you're not really hearing it, but you know, You know, just down there doing the work, you know, doing the nasty, dirty work of pushing this thing along and giving it a little bit of edgy low end. In this case, is it really, you know, listen to that nasty sound, you know, in the bottom of an orchestral recording. Yeah. And then this guy is sort of doing what the bass line is doing, just with a little bit of mo extra movement to it. Now, obviously, you don't want you know, you're listening to a big orchestra, you don't want to hear one stupid synth sound on its own, but if you take it out, it kind of loses something, you know? You don't want that. And then, um, uh, what's this guy? And it sounds called Big Bollocks. And that's because it's got big bollocks. And that's being doubled by this guy. This I'm not doing anything to. I mean, if this was not as dense a piece of music, I might concern myself with giving them a little more heat, um, you know, like on a sound like this. The decapitator is always a great choice. Um, because you can give it a little extra heat. Um, and then just blend in a little bit so you can have just the organic sound. You could do the, totally do that, you know. You know, and on this, if I wanted to, like what I would jump to my mind on this would be um, I, I, a plugin I love, uh, again, FabFilter, is uh, the FabFilter Saturn. And the reason I love it is because I can, I can um, use different frequency bands um, for, like I could just get into that sound and say that sound I want to give it a little bit kind of saturation to, you know. And then I can go into this guy and give it a little like warm tube and a little bit of dynamic, a little bit of sustain. And you get so much out of it. If you want to just match the level so that you're not really getting fooled by level. Maybe it's about 3 dB, maybe. Yeah, it's that big thickness. In this case... It's nice. It's a little dense for this piece of music. You know, why is it, why is it dense? Because... I don't want to, I, I have so many things vying for attention in there. I have a trumpet solo coming in. I have a, uh, I have a cello solo, which I haven't even shown you yet. I've got an ostinato part. So I don't really want to draw the ear too much to a synth bass part. I really want the synth bass part to just do its job and get out of the way. Just, you know, push us along, do it quietly, sit in your seat and shut up, you know. And uh, so that's what that is. But because there's more important stuff going on here, you know, there's, there's uh, Martin Tillman, who is incredibly important. <laughs>